Okay, I'm here with my friend Megan and she's gonna show us today how to make her famous cauliflower bread. She uses it for sandwiches, she uses it for pizza, so she's gonna show us the scoop. All right, <laughs> sounds good. So when we walked in, the first thing I noticed was that it stunk. Sorry. It smells <laughs> high heaven. It's yeah. the worst smell. It literally smells like shit. And your car, your, your refrigerator will smell like it too. Yeah. And it's awful. So the family loves it? Oh, and then in the morning I get mocked every morning that everybody comes downstairs and goes, ew, what's that smell? Yeah, well, it's every time you open the refrigerator. So if you have an issue with that, what I would recommend that you do is put it in the garage oh, or okay. out in the backyard. Or one of these. <laughs> That's the secret. Oh, does Scattered that, does that keep it? It keeps it, fr it's, a, it's got that fresh vent, but oh. I don't smell it in this yeah, much. If you, have, if you have neighbors, good neighbors, see if you can borrow their refrigerator. Yeah, too bad you guys <laughs> moved. You could have stuck it in our refrigerator. Yeah. Kent would have loved it. Yeah. You get everything in that thing. Though? Volunteer to grind it up. Oh um, yes, I created it in there. You really? And, and, and then just store it over there. Well, <laughs> I have a bigger one, but I use it for my lettuce because I eat my salad every day, and my my lettuce um, turns brown, yeah. my romaine, when I cut it up, but it doesn't it's just in that enough. thing. Yeah, it gets just enough. The health air. benefits just have to outweigh the stink. Yeah. Fresh. Mrs. <laughs> Moose, who is obsessed with plain ball. Okay, so what'd you do before I got here? All, uh, the only reason why I did it was, okay, so I got three heads of okay. organic cauliflower. Okay. And all I did was- Which I'm not sure you have to buy organic cauliflower. No, it seems I like that might be not one of them on the Dirty Dozen Well, thing. it doesn't matter. I just buy it that Okay. It happier, it's good. It, it's, a, it it's a vote with your food dollars right. for organic. And then I cut it off. Okay, so, and then you cleaned it probably. And then, yeah, I washed it really well and then okay. I dried it. Got and it. And I cut it in chunks, but I okay. use it. I do it smaller when I make. How it. often do you do this with three heads? Every Sunday. Oh, and this lasts you for the week. Yeah. Okay. Sometime the end of the weekend. Because Meg is major keto girl now. Well, I'm not full keto. Well, you are more than most people. I am more. Yeah, and I. I, I mean, I. I definitely. Yeah, I. But I. You know, I do eat my salads, my fiber. Well, every, I know, hope so. Yeah. I mean, my a lot of salads. Are there stuff. some keto people that seriously don't eat salad? Yeah. Wow. I mean, well, they, I mean, they do, but it's so, everything is so limited. I can't believe people that are true on keto. I couldn't look at What's their goal? Now. Like, why? Do you think that it's weight or is it health? They think that salads are going to... It's a little gonna... bit of both. You feel great. I mean, I feel great. But a salad makes a difference for some people? It does. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't talk to enough keto people. I don't know enough. Yeah. Um, but, uh... I went to the doctor, had my blood work done. Yeah. And um, so I've been on it since November, like mm -hmm. the middle, beginning of November. Oh, wait, what inspired you to do it, first of all? Um, I, I, my weight was going up and down, and I was really back to my heaviest weight. Okay. And I was at the club. And Which is not very heavy, let me just say. Well, and I carried my, I carried it in my belly, so I looked like I was pregnant. And um, Oh, yeah, right. No, I did. I've had people ask me if I'm pregnant. Oh, people are just stupid. That's it's why. my posture too, and Kat will vouch for that. Um, so uh, I'm working out with somebody who I always work out with, and all of a sudden he turned me and goes, you know, I've got this great diet my wife's doing. Then I knew I'm like, uh, I knew I was gaining weight. Oh, and I knew gosh, I was I can't big. believe I people big. would be so dumb. I think he just, he just knows me. So anyway, he started telling me about it, and I'm like, really, really? So I said, I'll give it a try, whatever. And first week I was miserable. I was miserable because I'm active, and I mean, I was. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. As far as what you were hungry, my energy level. Oh, no, my energy level depleted because I was still burning carbs, and I didn't have. So and I wasn't putting carbs into me. So I, my body had not transferred to burning fat. Oh yeah, I've heard of it. it's called the keto flu or something. Yeah. You get sometimes. Oh, it's the flu. Ma Maggie Madison's doing it too, and she had the flu too. Yeah. And. uh you know, it takes, but I wasn't like sick, sick. I just, my energy was mm, sapped. I yeah. was sapped. It wasn't hungry. It wasn't anything like that. It was just <clears throat> sapped. Yeah. And then when you're active, you have nothing, you know. But pretty um, soon that, that changes I, and I you have great energy. I three hours a day. If I want, you know, yesterday I worked out, I did three cardio classes back to back and I was fine. And yeah. I have great energy. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm as fast as I used to be. I, I don't have that in me yet, but that'll come. So. Okay, so um, what's next? So, but I will tell you, like, uh, I was I was doing it kind of for weight, but also just uh, for menopause 
and cancer again there's benefits to the high fat for cancer and things like that. Like has cancer in her family. Her mom passed time. away last year and her sisters had cancer. And anyway, I... Oh, uh, wait, you were going to tell us about going to the doctor and your blood work. Oh, yeah. But anyway, my like, stomach completely flattened out. It was like, just like, holy crap. But my body transformed because yeah. I could feel the difference between burning carbs and burning fat when you're mm -hmm. working out. Mm -hmm. Totally know the difference. Um... So I went to the doctor and I'm like, my cholesterol is going to be out. I know it is. I know it's going to be bad. I don't believe in this diet. It was, I, and, because uh, it's high fat. Because it's so high fat. And I went to the doctor and my, oh, first I went to the OBGYN and then Friday, this past Friday I went to the doctor and um, both of them looked at my blood work. So the, uh, my OBGYN said, I said, how's my cholesterol? Because she didn't know. Even though we know cholesterol is not really an issue and cholesterol is actually good for you, you were just curious what your numbers looked like. I just wanted like. to know what my number was. And, and then all of a sudden she goes, oh my gosh. She goes, your good cholesterol is the highest I've ever seen in my entire career. Wow. It's 99. Mm. You want to be, I think, 60. Your good cholesterol would be 60. I was 99. Did she ask what you're doing? No, nope, she didn't ask what oh, I was doing. Not. But the other doctor... Um, my uh, physician, my other physician, was blown away by my 99. Said yeah. you're in perfect health. Uh, okay, so all right. Next? So I washed it. I cut it out. I I washed. I cut it, and now I'm just letting it dry a little. Okay. Um, but that doesn't even matter. So then I just take it and I I chop it up into smaller pieces. So and tell what we're making and how you use it while you're doing it. Tell I us. I do everything with it. Uh, I'm making color flour. Flour. I'm making flour. Okay. Because I don't eat gluten. So, and. And you don't really have a gluten nice allergy. You just feel better without it. Um, I don't know, Cal. I really do think I do have a gluten allergy. Yeah. I've always had digestive issues, and I don't when I'm not eating. Okay. When I have. Have you ever been checked for celiac? No. Okay. No. Doesn't matter. I'm doing what I'm doing this, you know. Yeah. So I just put that much. Why only that much at a time? Because can't do more. Doesn't okay. uh, trust me. I've tried a thousand different okay. ways. Oops, I'm doing this backwards. Um, I, uh, I, the reason why is because um, you can have it different ways. Like yesterday, I ate it all riced, so it was like big chunks. But you have to like that flavor. I like it. I yeah. like that little chunky. But nobody in my family wants it. They don't like way. cauliflower. They they want it like flour as opposed to rice. Because hmm. I was eating it. I, I'll i eat it either way because I like it. So it's all on how much you pulse it. Uh, no, well, I bought it rice. Oh. You can get it Costco, organic, rice, flour, uh, cauliflower. So it just saves stuff. you these steps of it cleaning it. It saves me having to do all this. And I don't mind. See, that's what rice would look like right there. That's what rice would look like. My family does not like it like that. So See, that's like rice bigger, flour. Yeah. Okay. I get it all the way down to where it actually Boys, looks like Boys, chill flour. out. Until it's literally, see, it, you'll see it starts to so almost, almost look like, like turn into, you can see the transformation right. from the rice to now it's flour. It's getting like more moisture out. Yep. Right? No, not yet. That comes with, so then, gosh. So see, now you can see What's that the it's flour. What's the egg or the loose? Not loving them. <laughs> But, imagine why. So see how it's flour now? It's literally flour. So this is the most important part of the whole thing. Oh, you put it in, what is this called? Okay, so I've got cheesecloth. Okay. See, right here. Okay. Cheesecloth. I've got a strainer. Mm -hmm. And I put it here because you already get liquid in here. Right when you first so, drop it in? Uh, it starts pretty quickly. Okay. And How'd you learn how to do this, Meg? Uh, I don't know. I, uh... I kind of did this part on my own, but I, because I've been doing it for so long that um, I always had moisture in mine, and I'd make pizza crust, and it was awful. So that's because the key is getting all the moisture liquid. out? If you get the moisture out and make it into a flour. And then does it taste like cauliflower when you're done? I don't think so, because I put so much seasoning. Oh, right. And garlic, tons of garlic has, oh. It's funny, because the kids margarita were like, pizza. the kids were like, how do you know it tastes good? Because I told him what I was coming over to do today. I go, because Meg says it does, and she's an excellent cook. And oh, if Joey she says it, it tastes good, I know it tastes it. good. Madison eats it every, Madison loved it. Yeah. Joe eats it, he's, 
the, he says it's too filling. I mean, it's very really? rich. Mm. Where I, I eat the whole dang thing. I have no Okay, so you just sprinkle some I'm salt. I'm salting it because that's going to bring out the moisture just yep. like you do with cucumbers yep. when you're trying to get the fluid out. Mm -hmm. And then I just, that's what I do. Okay, so then you keep doing this for the whole batch. Do it for the whole batch. For the all the cauliflower. Yep. You said it took about a month and a half to lose weight. For me it did, yeah. And, but now you're still losing weight, which we talked about how that's not exactly very healthy. No, you're I'm, I'm losing a lot. I mean, I lose about a pound a day, <clears throat> sometimes two. I mean, Madison did it, and her first night she uh, woke up and she was three pounds lighter than two pounds. And so, it, it does, it just, but it takes a while um, for you to trans, uh, for burning carbs to burn fat. Yeah. And like I said, I know I'm burning fat now. I can tell in my workouts. I can tell every in every way. So, and you're saying that you sleep really well. I sleep great on this diet. Um, Although I sleep great on a regular diet. My period diet, is but, more regular and okay. I say that now I'm two weeks late. Because you're pre-menopausal. Yeah, yeah. So my one friend who eats everything, mashed potatoes, I mean she, this is all she eats. This mm -hmm. is a huge part of her diet. Um, well, what about mashed potatoes? Oh, it makes incredible mashed potatoes. Oh, right, yeah. So, anyway, she... Out of um, cauliflower, yeah. She just does what I'm doing on Sundays, but she puts it in bags and freezes it. So, so you don't have to do it as often on right. Sundays, you mean? You know, she, so she makes a lot more than me, and mm -hmm. then she freezes it, and okay. she puts it in individual baggies. So she just has a huge cooking day once in a while, yeah. and then... yeah. Well, I do everything on Sunday. But if you didn't, if prior. you didn't have a free Sunday, you could just do extra the Sunday prior or whatever, right? Yeah. And freeze it then. Yeah. Because I do my lunches too. I have my, I mean, I marinate my chicken. I don't want to have too much in it because then it takes more time. I learned that. <laughs> it took me a while because I was always trying. You just one more piece, one more. Yeah, piece. you think you can get more in, yeah. but then you got to stop and fiddle yeah. with it. Yeah, and it's not worth it. And see, I might not even be able to do it. So, but the pizza that this makes, oh my God. Really? You're going to see, now there's places in Chicago that now have cauliflower get, crust. Cauliflower crust. Have you had it there before in no, those places? No, like, can we go here? But we couldn't because we had other plans, but oh, I'm telling you. So you make pizza out of it, you make bread out of it, what else I do make, you make? Yeah, I make bread every day, um, every morning, pretty much. Um, okay. I'm not a mashed potato person but maybe medicine is and she made me try it and it was very good oh yeah with butter how could it not yeah, be good she put it, salt and pepper butter garlic yeah you know i've made but, that before it was yummy yeah but just, it doesn't taste like potatoes it tastes like cauliflower no, but it's still yeah, good you can still taste the a cauliflower. lot of people say that oh it tastes like potatoes no it once tastes you, like cauliflower but it's yummy once you take in stuff out of your body and just giving yourself the time to get used to it it's crazy how you don't want it yeah. I have no cravings. I have no desire for... For bread or sweets right. no. or anything? Yeah. Uh, nope. Nope. Well, probably because you're such a good cook, so the stuff you do eat is so yummy. Well, and it's filling. Like, you're full. Yeah. You're definitely full. So what else do you do on Sundays besides your cauliflower my bread? chicken. I get my chicken. Mar uh, well, I marinate my chicken. And then, because I felt like I was getting too many carcinogens... Like, because I was grilling it oh, yeah. every day. Yeah. And I don't grill anymore. I bake it yeah. in the oven. So grilling once in a while is fine, but you just thought, yeah. you know, you're getting too much of that. Okay. Yeah. So, so I you, now... So how do you do keto. that start to finish for chicken? Well, I have my... Um, I'll show what I got. So here's my marinating for tomorrow. What is Meg's a teacher, so she makes her lunch every day. Yep. I take my lunch every single day. I, ne I never, I hate eating out. I hate eating out. She was two of my kids' fourth grade teacher. So this okay. is coconut milk. Okay. And let's see, which one did I use? Um, I think I used uh, Thai peanut. Where'd you get that? I get it my ear. Okay. So this is a Thai peanut sweet and spicy curry blend. So, so you I just put a big old can of, you know, Coconut, uh, coconut milk, milk, and then how much of that spice? As much as I wanted until it smelled good Can enough. Can you get it out? Not to, I'll get a close-up on that spice yeah. so yeah. people want to get it. This so that's favorite. all that's in there? You marinate it overnight or something? Mm -hmm. And then what? 
And, or well, that's been a couple, a few days. Now. Okay. And then I'll bake it tomorrow morning. Oh, you bake it and yeah. then throw then it on I this sandwich. Yeah. No, I do salads. Oh, okay. So this is my favorite blend that I use with my cauliflower. Okay. Use oh yeah, that. I took a picture of that the other day. I think I okay. use that, and I love this. And then this is what I did. Okay. And the okay. ingredients on the back of those are good. Uh, yeah, I think you'd. Uh, yeah. Read them to me. Because I don't have my glasses. Okay, it says dehydrated peanut butter, Thai red curry, dried chilies, spices, garlic, onion, paprika, coconut palm sugar, coconut flakes, Himalayan pink salt. Mm, that does sound good as long as the spices, quote, spices isn't MSG, but it sounds yeah. like the rest of it's pretty good. So hopefully it's just. I wonder if it says MSG. When, is it supposed to say if there's MSG? That, that Not always. It. They can hide it. But it doesn't, I mean, but the other ingredients are pretty good, so it's probably fine. For allergens, you have to say MSG, I, don't you? I don't think so. I'm almost so. positive you do. So this one is red bell, pepper, onion, basil, parsley, ora parsley, oregano, rosemary, sage, garlic, black pepper, celery, seed, marjoram, thyme, coriander, chives, and it's salt free. Yeah, see that one, I like how they list all the spices out. Yeah. You know, so you know exactly. Yeah. I remember checking that one the other day and that one I knew was good. Yeah. I love this one. I use this one all the time. Meg is all about the flavoring. Oh, She's you know so it. good at flavoring food. And this one's garlic. It's, it's the, the garlic same brand. Yep. Same yep. brand. And that's for Meyer too? Yep. Okay. And it's in their new, it's kind of new. It's they, they, they're really getting good with their spices. I wonder if I can find that online for people who don't have it. Money and go here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No, I don't do that anymore. I know, because spices no. can be oh, expensive. and I put this every time I make my cauliflower. Turmeric? I put turmeric. Oh, yeah. And pepper. You have to combine the two. You can show us that when we get there. So the chicken you just use for salads. I yep. thought, so what do you do with your cauliflower bread? Uh, grilled cheese every morning. Oh, so that's your breakfast and mm -hmm. salad I, is my school. My binder is my egg, which is my, yeah, <clears throat> I grilled cheese every morning. Okay. Sometimes ham and cheese. I get the apple gate. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do turkey and cheese. Sometimes I don't do. So that's your breakfast is a that's sandwich and right then now. you have a salad for lunch. What do you eat for dinners? Um, you have to kind of force yourself to eat because you're not that hungry. Yeah. Um. So kind of depends on my mood. I'll make an omelet maybe some days. Mm -hmm. Um, but Joe doesn't eat like this, so or does he when you're cooking? No, I mean he loves. He will. Yeah, he will. Um, we're not playing ball right now, Moose. Chill out. It's not working. Jaeger's like I am so over him. <laughs> I get it, Jaeger. I get it. It is. You know, I I would say the hardest thing for me of this whole journey I've been on is that mindset of that high fat it is it, it almost it's like no no i like, shouldn't be like to it. get beyond do, yeah you have yeah. to so get beyond it i know it was hard at first for me too but then i got over it pretty quickly yeah. because fat tastes so good and it so, adds oh so much gosh, flavor yes. you've always been a preacher of fat and you know and I was not on board with that. Well, you kind of were, but you were. I was, but you were I, like a lot of people. Like I yeah. use butter, and they yeah. and then they mean like but two a tablespoons a day or right, something. Yeah, right. where I'm using a lot more. And like my dressing, so my salad dressing that I eat every day it used to be tons of balsamic. Yeah, and maybe a splash of olive oil. Mm -hmm. Um, and I use that pasta herbs. I put a ton in that. The spices. Yeah, that yeah. spice. So my salad dressing is a little balsamic. That's why I'm not ketos, because there's sugar. I mean, there's carbs in that. Yeah. But with how active I am, that's my balance, too. Right. And, and normally, you were saying you used to use you used to use mostly balsamic and right. a little bit of olive oil. Now it's kind of the opposite. Now I use tons of olive oil or, you know, you could do if you want. Avocado to, oil. Yeah, or, yep. Mm -hmm. And, um... So the but as far as butter. animal fats, how do you get that in? Because that's the best. The butter. Uh, the butter. Do you I fry? Love, yeah, I fry it in butter. Oh, okay, Tons so your cauliflower bread, you fry in butter? Oh, yeah, good. absolutely. Um, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, that's to poor, play so that bad. poor dog. <laughs> you are a pain in the butt, Moose. <laughs> If I'm really hungry oh, and I've had, a, if I've had a day, if I'll make my pizza at night. Oh, okay. And that's when I use fresh basil Ooh, and uh, 
fresh grated Parmesan. Ooh. And then I, um, I put, uh, I found this, this is great, uh, pizza sauce, which I, okay, she found the pasta sauce, the pizza sauce, and she said it was at our local grocery store, and the ingredient list is pretty darn good, and she said it's only got two grams of carbs. I mean, that's crazy. It's, it's hard to find. It is definitely hard to find. Yeah, stuff so, at the store. The yeah. When you make your pizza, that is the biggest. I cook that crust till it's super crispy. Super crispy. How's it, how do you not burn it though? Down. It just I keep my eye on it, and you've got your binder, you mm -hmm. know, with Parmesan, and you've got your uh, egg in there. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll tell you, because uh, again. The sauce makes it soggy, so it's trying to keep that, finding that. I finally find it, found it by, you lay, you, you crisp the heck out of it. You cook it, mm -hmm. pretty much cook it, and I heat up my sauce. Mm -hmm. Then I put cheese, tons oh, of Oh, to kind of protect the crust protect from the getting crust. soggy. So I put the cheese down. Then I put uh, basil and tomatoes. <laughs> then I put the sauce over the top. And then your meat? Do you do meat always or not? I don't put meat on it because I love the margarita pizza. It's my favorite right. pizza in the whole world. But you love meat too. Right? I do love meat. And I should put meat on it. And God, you can even do pepperoni. But I don't. I just. I just don't. I don't. I love margarita pizza. It's my favorite pizza. I love it too. And that sauce is very good. I don't have to do much to it. But the crust, I put tons of fresh garlic in it. I mm. put I put some of that uh, pizza, I, you know, the, the, the spices. Yeah. yeah. So, so my son he can be quite the comedian. And uh, <laughs> I said, Ray, I need your muscles. He's been working out. I said, I need you to get as much water out of this as you possibly can. So, of course, he took it as a challenge. And uh, he was just squeezing it and it was coming out and he was the what all the juice was going in there mm -hmm. um the water and it stunk so bad <laughs> and he uh thought he was really funny poured it into this tall glass about that big and drank the whole thing ah and he's like oh what a stunk. dork i know i don't know I don't know. I'm why sure it's probably it. good for him, but I don't know. It was the most disgusting thing. I was like <laughs> gagging. Cauliflower and juice. We were all like, I can't believe oh. he just did that. Then he had an upset stomach. If he can do that, he ought to be able to take cod liver oil every day. You got to use know. that to his good I somehow. I know. Um, it does take uh, a lot of strength. I mean, you got to keep yeah. doing it. So this is why people would be tempted to buy it. People wouldn't do it in that big. Like, I would, if I wasn't super, you know, having the determination with Ray and yeah. me and challenging us to get all those, I would take little scoops of it, put it in cheesecloth, and ring it that way and try not to uh, do the whole thing. At once, and, yeah. yeah. Well, it takes less time to do it at once, right? That's, again, why we do it. Yeah, We're trying to save time. Trying to but the, the stuff... You said the stuff they buy at Cat that you can buy at Costco it's isn't. Very good. It's not this. It's just it's the rice, rice, though, right? It's okay. Rice. I wonder. I love it. I make my. That's what I've eaten the last because I was waiting for you to make this. Oh, so you can make your so, sandwiches out of that? I make. Yeah, I make my grilled cheese out of that. Oh, okay. I don't know if I would make pizza crust out of it. I mean, you'd have to really like that uh, that texture. Okay. This is like pizza crust. Oh. I okay. mean, breakfast. I had a, a margarita pizza one the other morning. She was like, yeah, but right before school. <laughs> I had such a taste. I'm not very it. hungry when I wake up. Are you? No. No, but I work out and then I come home and I'm pretty hungry. Oh, right. So. I'm almost done. But it's patience. Yeah. That's why I make a huge batch of it. And I thought, you know what? It's going to get... Um, mold on it because there's no preservatives there's nothing right. to protect it but it was cold and i didn't get any mold and i think that container is awesome so that too. this lasts you only a week though uh it might last a little bit it depends on how many people 
participate. Oh, yeah. Eating. If the kids are having some yeah, of it or if whatever. If the kids are eating it, then, you know. But they get sick of it. I'm, I, that's why this diet works for me, too. I I am good with Yeah, you don't get sick thing. of stuff. No, I never get sick of things. That's funny. Same thing. Yeah. This is where you done. should put on, like, a good Hallmark movie or something to I watch. I do. I always have TV on. Okay. Where I'll have my thing here and be watching it. Okay. Yeah. I wish I had basil and tomato and all that stuff. I'd make a pizza. Well, we have two chickens in the oven at home, so. Oh, you would love the pizza. Oh, really? Uh, I crave it. So you, do, you don't think it tastes like cauliflower crust? Not at all. Because you have enough spices, you said. Right, but the texture is something that people, you know, it, it's not going to be a pizza. Yeah. You know, where you yeah. think. You got to get your Ooh, head around it. In the last one I did in my big iron skillet. The, this, you know, our favorite pan. Well, this one. Oh, the honking. Yeah, and I, I put I cast I, iron. Skillet. Yeah, I put oil on the bottom. That is olive huge. Oil, that thing. This big one. Yeah. And I put olive oil on the bottom, and then I laid it in there, uh -huh. and I <laughs> cooked it high heat. You know, mm. on a convection roast. Yeah. Or a convection, yeah, roast or convection bake, bake probably. Yeah, yeah. bake. And uh, anyway, I. Um, so I left that bake and then I did my toppings. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love pizza. That's why I just plan on Sundays being my Sunday afternoon is my prep day. So, you know, it, it, it just takes the flavor out of whatever you're making. So, I mean, if you put, if you season it right, it's awesome. I haven't tried it spicy up like I'd like to make it like a with red pepper flakes and stuff like that. Oh yeah, because you like heat. I love heat. Well you you should see what I eat. My grilled cheese. Ghost pepper cheese. Aren't those like the super hot ones? They're the hottest you can get. Oh, oh. so good. It's cheese? Yeah. Where do you Girl, get that? I grilled cheese. I get it at Meyer. So how do you make I that? I love all their cheeses at Meyer now. I know. They have a I great cheese it. counter. Okay. I, I I take my I take two pieces of ham, the applicate ham, put it on my skillet. I warm one side and I flip it over and then I slice up my cheese into strips and I lay it flat right on top of that so it melts perfectly. Then I take a big avocado, half an avocado, Ooh, that sounds and good. I mash it up and then I spread it on there, put a little salt, oh and my then gosh. I put the cheese and ham right on top of it and fold it so it's like an omelet. And then it closes up, and then I eat it with a knife and fork. You are making me hungry. Oh, it's so good. Madison's been eating it every morning, too. She loves it. She's going to miss your cooking oh, now that she's back at school. <laughs> but she's been drinking that coffee with the coconut oil. What oh, been, the you, bulletproof? You've talked about the bulletproof. You know all about She likes bulletproof. coffee now? She lives for coffee. Really? Lives it must be a college coffee. thing. Yeah. Not okay, really. so you got this whole thing full. Yeah. So now That's a you big let it sit bowl for too. 20, 20 to, you know, 30 minutes. You can let it sit. And you salt you each want. layer. Each time I, you put yeah, it in, you put more I salt in. I salted each layer. In, uh, you, I mean, I could squeeze it right now and I could show you how much liquid. I'll show you in just a minute. Okay. And then you can see. And then we'll once again get a nice, ripe smell in the room. <laughs> And then you have to get somebody like your son who can get even help. more out. Oh, mean? yeah. Like, I'll get what you're I can. You're strong. You can get it all out. Can oh. You? oh, you could squeeze all day, and you're not going to get it all out. Oh, so you just do the best you can, basically. I just do the best I can. This is what he drink, though. Ugh. Look at that. Look at the coloring. And doesn't it smell it. like. Oh, it's awful. Yeah. You can smell a lot. <laughs> I couldn't believe he did that. Yeah. Wow, you get a lot out. Oh, I, I, I'm not even making a dent in how much there really is. But that's why maybe, like I wouldn't do, I would do smaller quantities. Yeah, it's, easier, of, it's easier to do smaller yeah, bits at a time. Yeah, it's a workout. It's a workout. Let's some of that fluid. Because I, I even do it where I, um, I smash down, but I'm going to get a little more cheese cloth. Oh, yeah, you could do that with this strainer. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay. Even. I mean, I do everything. Because you know? I wanted much water. There was, you could still tell there was a little water in ours. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
so. Um, so you think you get it all out and you think you've done a good job and then you have your son who's got very strong arms to come up and squeeze the rest Show us your stuff, out. Ray. Pull your sleeves up though because remember okay. how it, the juice... And then I already and please told don't how drink you it today because yeah. that's so disgusting. We don't really want to see. Did that you part. throw up or not when you did no. that? See, he's so he has a tough stomach hand. and stuff, strong stomach and strong arms. Ooh, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna throw up, don't throw up in a bowl. Well, he drank all the juice. I will say drink. Kent, he drank a huge <laughs> cup of it. On a dare. No, nobody even dared him. Just nobody even said, wanted him to do it. We were all like, don't do it. Don't do it. We're going to get sick. And he went, please don't do it. He drank a cup about that I don't that get why big. you had to drink all of it. Like, if you wanted to be gross and just drink a he little. Because yeah. he does stuff like that. I don't know. It wasn't that bad. You're crazy. <laughs> I only threw up a little. Yeah, I can't get it anymore. Did I do pretty well? Well, he got a lot more. Yeah, he did. Now, now how much more do I squeeze? Oh, let's see. Wow. There's the challenge. All right, let's see if Joe... Get the oh. sleeves up. He's going in. And then can't hear after Joe. <laughs> I'm not touching that stinky thing. Yeah, you're going to... Yeah. So... Oh, you should have got your sleeves up first. Yeah. Because it does. It goes right down your arm. That's why and I That's going to feel so on. good. We're waiting for that first drop. <laughs> There, there's some. I think the two Ooh. person. Oh, he's got it coming out the other way. Oh, Ray. We're going to have some Daddy's showing you up. up. He's embarrassing you, Ray. Yeah, he is. Your dad <laughs> is the ultimate cauliflower squeezer. Well, he partakes in eating it, so he should be helping with it. That's right. Anybody who eats it should also squeeze it. Yep. <laughs> now you're losing some of my good cauliflower at the top. Where? It's coming out the top, so please. Mm -hmm. Precious. You see the work we put into it. Ray, do you want to get your glass? All right. <laughs> you want to show job. Kelly? You could be, you could know, be a YouTube that. star, Ray. Kelly will post it. You'll be... My my yeah. post could go viral. It, it could, could go be. viral. Boy drinks broccoli Stop juice. Cauliflower, cauliflower juice. Yeah. Cauliflower juice. Look at your little, okay. little cup, Ray. Your special yeah. cup. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a special cup. <laughs> it's got a little cauliflower on it. <laughs> And Mommy there squeezes cauliflower. Mommy, squeeze the juice. Oh yeah, that is dried out. Isn't that isn't beautiful? That? Look at that. Yep. That's gorgeous. So then you put that in your container. Yep. That's too much for that container, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I, I maybe see. I keep, I guess I make I made more than I thought I did. I, th I guess I usually use two heads. Oh, so. do you? Okay, because yeah. then it normally just. Fits but look in at that. Hand. I mean, that's nice. flower once it dries out. Right. So I was just telling Meg that I'm excited for how this will help people, especially, you know, people who have, you know, Meg does it just because she wants to watch her weight and stuff, but there's a lot of people that really need this for health issues like diabetes. They could eat like this and get off all their meds. There's others who maybe have the beginnings of Alzheimer's. This would be a great diet for them. I just wrote a post about a book called uh, The Alzheimer's Cure, I think it was called. And she talks about how you have to control the, you know, how much insulin your body's making all the time. And this would completely take care of that. And she said you can reverse. Jeez, would that be awesome? I know. God, if people just knew. It. So I put turmeric. I'm not shy Which about is my probably turmeric. probably about half. Just a quarter teaspoon. Yeah, and you have to put the pepper with the turmeric for it to work. What do you mean? For, for it to work. Right? No, for turmeric to work is an anti-inflammatory. You need the two together. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Madison, Maggie taught me that. Hmm. Okay, and that's some of the spices yeah. you're telling me about. This is the pasta yeah. spice blend. Since you're gonna try it, and I'm not using my my goat, my really spicy cheese. Mm -hmm. I'll put a little parmesan. Now yeah, this is what you do the morning that you're eating it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Every morning. Otherwise, the you squeeze it out though before you store it in the fridge, right? Yeah. No, this is that. Yeah. Okay. So I'll have it all squeezed out. Then so I then all you do is throw it together in the bowl. Container. The yeah. And then my egg. It might be one egg. It might be two. Probably two. Yeah, it will be two. 
because it's almost like an omelet for my now the other people like when you watch the videos they make it into a um two pat patties and i mm -hmm. used to do that mm -hmm. then i found just making it into one big like omelet and then you fold your sandwich over oh, oh my right. gosh it's so good so like a tortilla yeah so it's like a tortilla but it's a little thicker i'm gonna have kent try this too i, I should use a little spice do you like a little spice yeah. Okay, I'm going to put a little spicy cheese in there, too. He wants to go out? No, he needs water. Fresh water. You need fresh water? Yeah, and it's got to be from this. <laughs> Space pain. <laughs> I know. Here. <laughs> he, I swear, he wears the pants in the family. <laughs> I know, Al. All right, here you go. Yeah, I know. It's right here. Yeah. You want to see what's going on, Jaeger? Jaeger's like, I like cauliflower. Yeah. You like cauliflower, mister? Huh? Jaeger's really the only dog I love in the world. Mm -hmm. And Oliver's the only yeah, cat I like in the world. Though. Yeah, it's true. Although I've seen some pretty cute dogs lately. The Winters have a new dog, and he is so cute. The Sorry, Moose. You're just too annoying. Yes. You're cute, but you're annoying. It's kind of nice that your kids are older because you can do all this in the morning, whereas some moms are feeding kids and trying to get oh, yeah. off to them off to school and everything else. Yeah. Of course. Yummy. Yeah, love the butter. <clears throat> And I'm not shy about it. No. Oh, that's heating up. So you're just getting the ham hot, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did the ham hot, and then I put my cheese over it. That's how oh, I make right. the perfect melted cheese. Oh. I. Oh, I see. You make one big one. That's make great. Make one big one into an omelet. Flip so nicely, and I wait till it gets nice and toasted, firm. And I flatten it way out. So a lot of people just make them into little patties like this, yeah. mm -hmm. and they flip both sides and make a sandwich to make this like a sandwich. This is how I figured it out. So now, if you were making, um. The pizza crust. Yeah. Tell me again how you would do that. Oh, on that pan down there. Yeah. That that, oh, yeah, that's right. Ma yeah, that's okay. how mm. I would do it. But in super high stone, heat, like how high a heat in the oven? I do it like 425. Okay. 400, 425. Convection, too, so it's even hotter. Now, they put mushrooms on theirs, the kids have, mm -hmm. when they've made it. What do you got on, like, medium heat? Before. Oh, it's higher heat, isn't it? Yeah, I do probably medium to high. I... Oh, I know what I was looking for. What's the little specks of red? Is that some of the... That's part of my herbs. That oh, right, my... okay. Because I did a lot of that. Let's see how it smells. I don't really smell anything quite yet. I won't use my ghost pepper with you. Thank you. I would love to. Yeah, see, here's the parmesan that I grate. Oh, right. Stuff. That's the kind we get to. I'm just trying to. Ooh, how about garlic, chive, and spring dill? Ooh, that sounds good. That'd make a good sound. Don't open a new one for us. I, oh, we use we use cheese all the time. So, and I love the Meyer Market now. Oh my gosh, your cheese choices. Endless. I've not tried this, so you're. So I gotta right tell you this story on here. You're gonna crack up. Cal and I were in there the other day and um, getting some cheese. We needed a special kind for this Italian dish he wanted to try yeah. from his like that he had on his trip. And so when we walked up, the guy was just cutting oodles and oodles of cheese into smaller yeah. pieces to package it different. Or right. Whatever. Did I tell you this story yet? No. And he, I said I was kind of joking. I said, "Do you love your job?" And he goes, "Actually, this is." One of my favorite parts of my job, I love cutting the cheese. And, <laughs> and I looked at him, I go, you're joking, right? He goes, no, seriously, I really do love cutting the cheese. It's one of my favorite parts of my job. That's Cal and I so look funny. at each other, we're yeah. like, is he serious? That is so 
funny. <laughs> so I just put that right on there. Let me come over here and look at this. Don't look at that pan. You would not. I just. I oh, know. Meg, throw that thing away. But look at those scratch marks. That's terrible. I know. That's wow, that cheese looks yum. Wait till you see how it melts. Cut me a little piece of it. Yeah, we, we haven't even tried it, so it might not be that good. It probably is. Thank you. Mm. Is it good? Mmm. Very. See Let's how you see. can the butter. Oh, that's slipping around nicely, and then isn't it? I just how do you not oh that flip it flips over. nice. Looks like a pancake. And that's what but it's so uh I've just learned that it just you just flatten flattened. it as much as you can. Yep, I flatten it as much as I can. Is that as thick as you normally have it, approximately? Yeah, about as thick as I have it. Oh, yeah, because it covers the bottom of your pan. Yep. So picture pizza sauce on something similar Oh, to yeah. This. Only probably even crispier. It's for, crispier, yeah. Because in the hot oven, maybe? Mm -hmm. Let me look at Oh, my gosh, Meg. That looks so yummy. So that's probably why you have to keep that from sticking with the... Because the yeah, cheese well, falls over... Get, because ham wouldn't stick, the cheese, but the ham um, wouldn't stick, but the cheese would stick yeah, if you... Yeah, but you, your cheese doesn't melt. I want to... Yeah. If I'm having a grilled cheese sandwich, I don't want my cheese melted. Yeah. I'm kind of picky about that. Can I just sneak a tiny little corner of this? Um, yeah. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What's that remind me of? You know what that reminds me of a little bit? What? Potato pancakes. Yeah, yeah. That take that. Okay, I take back what I said about not tasting like potatoes. It kind of that almost tastes like exactly like my yeah. potato pancakes, where I just take mashed potatoes and put an egg with it and stuff, and then right. I fry it. Right. Well, with the parmesan too. That right. Helps, too. Um, but the flavor of that is so good. It, wait till you try your pizza crust. Okay, so what are you doing with this? With I just warm this up a little. Just uh -huh. the fat to get that fat in there. I got a little brown in there. I don't like that. It's, there's no taste of it. I it's know. Fine. I'm weird about that, though. Who's crying? That's Wolf. What's he want now? His ball's um, under something. It's oh. stuck, so he's upset <laughs> right now. Let's go see about this. Yeah, let's see where his butt's sticking out. It'll somewhere. Where are you, Moosey? Yep. Is it stuck in there? Yeah. Somewhere and he's upset. It's kind of hard. I feel I'm nervous because the cheese, now I've never happy. done this cheese before. That cheese is going to be so okay. good. Oh, and you put it on while it's still in the pan? Put it on half. Okay, no I wonder you're not hungry. This would fill you up so much. Oh, it's so filling, yeah. But and you could do so, so many good. different things with it. So oh this, I God. guess another reason Every you probably day don't I get make sick Joe's of it. like, what are you going to do today? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'll do. <laughs> I've done basil with, uh, mm. I've done like an Italian style. I do everything. There's, It's endless. You should you start keeping do. track of the different things you do so I can add it to this post eventually. People have all these different ideas, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, oh my gosh, this is like Oops. a TV cooking show. Ah, uh, see, I'm losing some of my cheese. Boom. Oh, Gotta get that on there. Oh my gosh. See, I just want That's my cheese melted. That's a lot of cheese. Right. But you're supposed to. Wow. It's a grilled cheese. Oh my, how you'd eat that without it falling all over? Well, I eat, eat it with a knife and a fork. Oh my gosh. And that Meg. is my... <gasps> Grilled that cheese looks sandwich. So good. That is a grilled cheese sandwich. Wow. And I eat that. Now do you let it get you cook it more in here or is it pretty much yeah, done right I, now? I would have let the, that crisp up a little bit more on the back side. I should have. And I quick clean this out so nothing stays stuck on it. Yeah, I want to get another one of those pans. I love that pan. Yeah. What is it? Couldn't you just use also a um, iron skillet? Yeah, uh, a cast iron. It doesn't. It always sticks for me. What about a stainless steel? Um, do you have one of my favorite pans? My stainless steel? I don't know if I do. Oh, you know what I'm talking about because you've been over before and I've showed you. That great big one. Oh, uh, I do not. 
Oh yeah. Is that the prettiest? Usually mine doesn't look like that, but this cheese was real melty cheese. All right. Now for the test. Okay. So excited to try this. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is loaded with flavor. I know. Oh, the cheese is all melty and wonderful. Yeah. Maybe there won't be any writing when the guys come up to try it. Wow. I feel like I'm on a cooking show. Mmm. <laughs> I got avocado that time. Yeah, the avocado. I, oh. I think that would help with the, the cheese because that cheese is pretty rich. Um, rich is perfect yes. for me. I, I love agree. rich. That is phenomenal. Thank you so much for showing us how to You're do this. You're welcome. Wow. You guys got to try it. It is so good. What is it? Okay. A grilled cheese sandwich. It's a little oh, messy. So it is. It, you it is what you make. It's a different one though. I did a different cheese. Okay. We're trying a different cheese. It's really a super. Because I told them I use the ghost pepper cheese, so people oh. would not like ghost pepper cheese. It's okay. a little spicy. Are these little, little flavor? Start your day. With Are these spicy. separate forks? Yep, yes. they're all clean. Okay. The knife. So it's kind of a superfood with that turmeric in there and yep. and the avocado yep. and the eggs and the pepper with and, the turmeric. Yep. Thought you were going all with that yourself. I know. Oh, that's pretty aggressive. <laughs> Grilled cheese sandwich. Ham and cheese. All right, Andrew Zimmern. Supposed to roll the eyes back? Mmm. <laughs> you know, mm. most people don't like crow, <laughs> but the way you have just made this. Mm. <laughs> she the made avocado. Good. There's avocado yeah. on there. The avocado too. really. Helps to balance the pungency of the crow. Uh, that is very good. Very good. So what do you do with all those lemons I see on your counter? I drink a, a tea every single morning with uh, lemon and um, raw apple cider vinegar. So how much of each? Uh, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, I think. Because I can do it now where I used to. Before I put it with tea, I, the flavor, it was so hard. You mean like regular tea? Yeah, so I use the tea. That helps. That helps. So now it's tea with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and, and how much lemon juice? I squeeze a half a lemon. Okay. Full half a lemon in there and then I have a... Uh, Fit it like a tea, and use I tea put bag. Cayenne, a little cayenne in there. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay. I do that. But a regular, you do that in regular, like a I've cup been doing of tea. That for two years, almost two years. And now. that keeps you regular. That keeps me. I think it helps keep me regular. But see if I'm doing sugar and so when I've fallen off my wagon. Yeah. Um. Then I'm not regular. It doesn't matter what I do. Okay. If I eat sweet, if I eat flour or anything like that. It matters. Yeah. 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 So. So you wish you would have figured all this out earlier, since you feel so much better. Yeah. I mean, I, I do, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm glad I... So if you're going to have a cheat, what do you do to cheat? I don't ever have a craving to cheat. I don't. Even over the holidays and stuff? You no, don't I don't do anything bad over the holidays. Who <laughs> are you? You're like a new person. I know. I so when Meg desire. lived next door to us, she used to go I do celery. I do binges. all the things. I just don't do my tortilla chips, which I was an addict with tortilla chips. Yeah. I use celery. I love celery. And celery gives me that crunch. So I How much celery that. do you buy a week? Two or three packages. But see, I don't go. To, if I go to a party, I'm just going to bring my own celery because yes. I know whatever dip, artichoke, like I can eat artichoke dip. Mm -hmm. I can do all those things, but I just can't. You just have it with celery. Yeah, I just use celery instead. But tell about what you used to do, how you used to. Well, tell about your chocolate thing and if you want to share about your. Well, I'm an addict. I'm, a, I'm an addict. So So she hasn't had chocolate in how many years? 25 years. It'll be February 14th. It'll be 25 years I haven't touched chocolate. Okay, so then hey, when she gave up chocolate, go ahead, Max. Where's your rosemary? Rosemary? Uh, I don't know. Use that Italian one that has it in there. I'm going over here for the lighting. Um, but then before you gave up sugar altogether, you would have sugar but not chocolate. Right. Oh, I find anything that would 
Oh gosh, I've always been. Remember licorice? No fat. That was with the no oh, fat yeah. diet. <laughs> oh my gosh, so I buy cases of that. Then I discovered white chocolate Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh and I yeah. I that. Then I ate an entire case of those, and then I realized, oh, <laughs> I've got a problem. So I stopped eating those. And except on New Year's Eve, we used to pick out on something white oh. chocolate. I'd make you, you white chocolate. White stuff. chocolate blonde brownies. Oh yeah. So that doesn't sound good, really, right now. Nope. No, I don't have a desire for any of that. I just don't have a, enough. I know when you're eating enough fat, you really don't have and that the was cravings. The biggest thing is getting that mindset with that fat. Yeah. Um, it takes away your cravings. My biggest my is pecans because if you take pecans and you you know you see the carbs are what like two carbs per serving, and then but there's one fiber. So you subtract that, and it's your lowest. That macadamia nuts, but see, I overindulge in macadamia nuts, so I'll never eat them again. Yeah, those are high in omega sixes. Nuts are. Yeah. Which so too, I, I mean, not, they're good for you, but too many can throw off your yeah. omega six, omega three. Do you I, take um, cod liver oil? No, and I should. Yeah, you should. I know. I gotta order some. I gotta order some when I get my probiotics again, because I haven't been taking probiotics, but I want that. So, I'll show you the best probiotics and the you best. You got a better one than what I've always bought the one you. Yes, now there's a better one out. No. Way better. Okay, I gotta know what that is. Okay, I'll send I'll it to order you. It. I'll order it right now.